So hi everyone, welcome back to data science in your pocket and we have a huge release today that is Lucy edit which is an open source model for video editing. They call it the open source nano banana for video and looking at the quality output you can see that it's quite true. We'll be talking about in detail about the model but let's first try it out. So it is available for free to try out on Descartes application. I will be sharing this particular URL with you. So this is the video. Let's try to change a few things. So here you can see that we have got a few free credits, 2000 credits. Let's try to change this up. Make the girl wear black dress and the painting at the back should look gloomy. Let's try what it generates. It's uploading the video. It might take some time also because video editing is a little difficult challenge. But if this is true, the model is great. And given the benchmarks also, I was reading the technical report. We are in for a treat. And as you can see, the girl is now wearing a black dress. That's quite crazy. I think the output is just amazing. Absolutely correct. And on the right hand side also you can see some suggestions are coming for it. Let's try out something else. What should we do next? Make the girl hold a flower in the video. If you look, I think speed was also quite fast. And I'm impressed. I think given the model size is just 5 billion parameters. Uh, the quality output is just amazing. I think 40, uh, 480 pixel. The output was quite good. Though I can't see many glitches there. And the time taken was about uh, one or two minutes. So I think that's quite fine. Oh, here I can see some big glitch. <laughs> A hand has came out of the shoulder. So I think I'll take a few words back. This is creating some glitch. No worries, I think this is early days also. The model is quite new. Let's try out some other video now. Replace the black headphones with the white headphones. Also make the guy wear goggles. So you can see that you can also change the pixel rate. So it's 4080 or 720. So I'm testing it 4080 for now. So let's see what edits it is able to make. So uh, we are asking it to replace the black headphones with white and also make the guy wear goggles. As you can see, the headphones are white now. It is not able to wear goggles, but it is able to get some goggles on the head. It's not, I will still take this one. I think it's not that wrong. Let's try to change the background now. Make the background sunny in the morning also change the text arcade to data science pocket let's see how it works with text i'm assuming it won't work that great so we are just testing it out stress testing the model to be honest and let's see what what is the final capability of the model i think so far so good except that hand glitch that has happened i think the model has looked quite decent and video editing for free i think any day you can take it up you can see now i think a lot of things has changed it's sunny at the background it's not able to change arcade data science photo size i think with spellings it will create glitches i was quite sure so no worries i think this example also glitched a bit it was a tough one to be honest now let's test out the last one before we jump on to the details of the model Make the girl's hair black with a purple strand. Also change the top color to neon. Let's see what it generates here. And the model size is also not, not that huge. I think 5 billion parameters is manageable. And yeah, the model is a revolutionary to be honest because before this, no other model has come out like which is serving editing of videos 
image editing has come but not video editing and this being open source creates a lot of buzz in the ai market now i think small edits it's quite good we just saw that i think for a, giving you multiple tasks it's glitching oh my god it has glitched quite badly make the girls here black with the purple stand it has made his face also black even the top is neon but uh not a great output so i think in all the model looks quite average uh above average i think a couple of examples were quite great but a few of them went completely wavered i think this was quite easy it should have taken or maybe the case i'm passing multiple commands to edit that's why it can be creating some glitches but no worries let's jump on to details of the model now we have tested quite with some examples so as you can see this is the hugging face page lucy edit dev here are some examples they have given it's based on van 2.25 villain architecture yes there which is a video generation model with five villain parameters now it is able to edit all so they have given some examples you can check that out this is the official github repo for the model how to use it the model weights etc you can find on the github repo as well i would be sharing the platform link where i was testing out the model for free now let's jump on the details of the model before we wrap this up so lucy edit solution you input a video text prompt then lucy edit happen and you get an edited video fidelity to prompt edits match natural language instructions identity preservation subjects remain recognizable after editing as mentioned in the paper temporal consistency no flickering or drifting across frames i think that we observed in most of the videos realism content fit scenes lighting and motion so these are the capabilities of lucy edit solution what is the technical architecture i think it's using encoding input video encoded into latent space noise interpolation happens then channel concatenation concatenate noisy latent zt with encoded video v text conditioning text from embedded via cross attention diffusion transformers comes into the picture then a denoising loop happens and then decoding happens this is a little technical architecture we are just briefing it up you can take a pause and read the slide so that you have a basic understanding what are the key capabilities you can change clothing and style Character replacement can be done, human to animal, fantasy creature and what not. Scene transformation can happen, object insertion and deletion can happen. What are the benefits? No mask required. Edit without manual annotation. That's quite important. You are just giving an instruction and it is able to edit that. No auxiliary signals, no depth maps or reference images are required. Fast processing. We just saw that I think within a couple of minutes it is able to output everything. Open weight model. I think this is the winner for me. It's completely open source and high fidelity. Professional great results are there. Applications and future, I think many use cases I can see. Production, personalization, open source community, creative workflows. I think content creation will change forever with Lucy Edit coming into the picture. The model comes into two versions. One is Lucy Edit Dev and Lucy Edit Pro. Pro is paid while we were using Lucy Edit Dev, which is open source as well. How to use Lucy Edit for free? I think on Lucy Edit Dev, it's an open source model on Hugging Face. And you can get it for free. Upload the video, enter text prompt, and you get your video for free. What are the data requirements as you can see? Critical properties of training data. What was the training data consisted of? Alignment. Frame by frame alignment between source and edited clips. Instruction edit specificity. Instructions describe changes exactly, no more, no less. It was very, very exact instructions that were given in the data diversity close changing videos were their object insertion style transfer etc what are the limitations of lucy edit multiple i think multi turn edits consecutive edits can accumulate drift and artifacts i think this is a problem with most of the models global style transfer strong domain shift sometimes distort identity and motion priors inserted objects move plausibly but lack intentional behavior these are a few limitations of the model we were just testing it out it was not able to edit multiple things also in the same prompt what we saw why does it matter i think cj without manual masking that's for true open weights professional deployment and technical advancement foundation for future research that's for sure 
I think such a model can be dangerous for the society also and can be of great help. So be wise while choosing it. Do test out the model. The model size is not that huge. And let me know in the comment section how you feel about it. Thank you so much.